Right. So, and how would you compare, say, an Inox wind with a Seuss lawn, which has also been seeing a reversal in its fundamentals, things improving, getting back on track, both fundamentally as well as with orders coming in? How would you compare the two? So, Seuss lawn has a very large incumbent capacity, which still remains uh, unutilized. And, you know, at barely 30-40% uh, capacity utilization, the company is out of the woods being debt-free. Uh, and, you know, scoring well on the margins. So, we expect a lot of operating uh, leverage to play out in terms of Suzlon. So, both these companies uh, will continue to do well going ahead. And for Inox, when if somebody, say, looks to buy today with a very long-term perspective, like, say, about four or five years uh, down the line, maybe 10 years down the line, would you still say this is a good enough opportunity to start building up a portfolio slowly and gradually accumulating Inox win? So, you know, uh, the, the renewable theme is not just relegated to the Indian market. You know, as these players become bigger, there is going to be overseas opportunities also. And, uh, you know, with the India's base of cost of manufacturing, compared to what we are seeing in Europe from the larger players like Siemens, Gamesa, etc., you know, who are struggling to roll this out, I think this is going to be very, very big buy. So, it's a good stock to be invested in for the long term.